Hello stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from a beautiful Sheridan, Wyoming. I am here with my besties Barb and Dina and we're here working for the week because that's fabulous we can do that, right? I am going to be featuring the You're a Peach suite of products today for the Creative Inking Blog Hop. We're featuring fun folds. Oh my gosh, I have the cutest peach card. It's a gift card holder, and I think you guys are just going to love it. So we're going to flip this camera around and get started. Okay, for this fun fold card, I just love this one. And I'll show you exactly where I got the idea from. We are going to be using the You're a Peach Specialty Designer Series paper. We're kind of using this whole suite. And I have an online class for the month of June that will be available after June as long as supplies last that I'll tell you all about when we're done making this card. So I chose this pattern of paper. It went along well with what I wanted to do. We've got a piece here that is four by 12. I've also got a basic white piece that is three and three quarters by four and three quarters. Basic white three by four. A little strip that's three quarters about by three. The width depends on which sentiment you want to use. That's Calypso Coral. Whoops, this is a scrap. This is three by four. And you can see this is already embossed. I chose to use the checks and dots embossing folders. These come together in a pack. So you get these little polka dots and you get the checks. And you can see how fun that is. Now I've got another card using the polka dots and I'll show that to you before we're finished. Okay, we have a little bit of scoring to do here. Oh, I forgot about my envelope. Here's my envelope with a two and a half by six inch piece of the Yora Peach Specialty Designer Series paper. Is that really specialty? I don't think so. Just Yora Peach Designer Series paper. Not specialty, little typo there. I'm gonna bring in my trimmer and we're gonna do some scoring. Well, this is a super easy fun fold. It's kind of a little gift card holder, but you can make it something else if you don't wanna put a gift card in. We're gonna score this at five. And you wanna score lightly with designer series paper. You don't wanna to push too hard. Six, because it'll tear your paper. And seven. Cardstock, you can push real hard. Designer paper, not so much. And I can see my score lines here. I did not push hard enough to tear it, so that's good news, right? Okay, we are going to decide. We have to decide what's gonna be the inside, what's gonna be the outside of our card. And since we have a definite pattern here with our peaches, if we did it this way, it'd be upside down. So I think I'm gonna use this as the inside of my card. And we are going to fold on that first score line. And I like to kind of make sure that I have the edges even. Whoops. And we're gonna do just a little accordion fold here and burnish those edges good. And then again, I like to make sure that my edges are nice and even before I do that final push with my bone folder. So this is what we have. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do here is I am going to adhere this together. And I like to use tear and tape just because I wanna make sure that nothing is gonna come apart here. So we're going to put this right on the folded edge. And where'd my take your pick tool go? Does anybody see that? It's here someplace, here it is. <laughs> I like to use this to help me. My nails don't work real good for getting the tear and tape off. So I find that my take your pick tool works really nicely. Okay, so now this is what we have, okay? We wanna form a pocket with this little one inch flap. So I'm gonna take some tear and tape and I'm going to add it right to the edges of the little flap here. I 
and we're gonna push that down just like that. So now we have a little pocket here. Okay, next, now we're gonna start decorating our card. And I have a scrap of basic white here. I've got three different ink colors, Pear Pizzazz, Petal Pink, and Calypso Coral. So with the Pear Pizzazz, we are going to be stamping did I tell you we're using the Sweet as a Peach Sweet? Here's the beautiful stamp set with some fabulous sentiments with some lovely fonts. I love fonts. Flowers, leaves, peaches, and also the dyes called Peach Dyes have 17 different dyes in here. So those are really fun too. Okay, Pear Pizzazz ink. And I'm going to stamp this on my scrap. And I'm just gonna grab another scrap here and get out my petal pink. And we're gonna ink up those peaches. I'm also gonna get out my Calypso Coral. Make sure I didn't get any on my fingers here. So we're going to ink up with this. And now we're gonna bring in a sponge dauber with the Calypso Coral. And we're just going to very lightly add some color around the outside edges of each one of these little peaches. And this is gonna give us a beautiful image. I'm gonna huff on it, just like you're cleaning your glasses. Look at how pretty that is. Isn't that neat? Now, let me show you, just for um, contrast, I'm gonna clean this with my chamois. If you wanna do more than one set of peaches, you definitely want to clean this because you don't want any of your Calypso Coral residue to get into your Petal Pink ink pad. So clean it first. But here's what it looks like if we would just use the Petal Pink. These are very pretty, but you can see these are prettier, right? They look like you just want to take a big bite out of them. Okay. Now we've got dyes for this. What did I do with them? Right here. So we're gonna cut this out in our die cutting machine. And I like to use just some temporary tape or some um, washi tape. You wanna take a little bit of the sticky off by putting it on your clothes and pulling it up before you use it through your die machine because otherwise it might be a little too sticky and it could rip your image. So we're gonna do that. And then we've also got a die here for our peaches. So we're gonna, whoops, that's for the big peach. We want the little peach. And we're gonna put that right on here. Add a little bit, whoops, keep banging into stuff. Add a little bit of temporary tape to that. I'm gonna run these through my machine, I'll be right back. Okay, we've got these ready to roll. Next thing we need to do is I love to put my sentiment on a darker layer, but of course that creates some problems because if you stamp with darker ink, it doesn't really show up that great. So I decided to use some white embossing powder to really make my sentiment pop. So I've got my powder in this bowl. I'm gonna use Versamark ink, and we're going to stamp the thanks so much on this little strip of Calypso Coral. You're just gonna stamp that in the middle, put some powder on it. So I got just a little bit of over spray there. And then we're gonna hit that with a heat tool. And here we go. So let's get this put away. I usually put this away before I turn on my heat tool because, well, if you've ever hit your heat tool in there, you know what a mess that can be. Okay. I think we are ready for assembly. So, oh, one more thing. I ran this layer, I think I already told you that, I ran this layer through the checkered pattern. This is the three by four white layer. So we're going to add this, thanks so much, right here. And 
I'm just going to put that right about here. I want to center that. I'm going to have to trim it a little bit. Yep, just like that. Make sure I've got it on here straight. Then we're going to add some mini dimensionals to the back of all of these. Pop those up. Mm -hmm. Get these all ready to go. If you use your take your pick tool, this can make this really, really easy for you to get these backings off. I know sometimes they can be a little tricky. Okay, we're gonna take this and we're gonna kind of put it right like this. And then we're gonna grab our peaches and we're gonna put those right at the end of our stems. And last but not least, Kind of tucked that one a little bit under the leaf. You can do whatever you want there. Isn't that just adorable? Now this is gonna go on the front of our card. And I like that pop of white on here. Oops, I see this is running over just a little bit. See that sticking over? Let's get that trimmed off. I missed that. There we go. Okay, that's gonna look a lot nicer. Get this centered. And I wanted to add a little bit of the baker's twine. So I've got a bow jig here. This is nothing more than a piece of wood with some holes drilled in it. These two holes are one inch apart and then half inch on each side. And you just wrap it around a couple times. I'm gonna do a double bow here. Take it under and over and tie it in a single knot right here. Super duper easy. I call this a bow jig and it's like one of my best friends for making bows because they're perfect every time. Now I've got some mini glue dots here and I'm just gonna kind of curl this up a little bit because I don't like those sticking out from under my baker's twine. and add that right to the stem. How super cute is that? Now, one more thing. We're gonna add just a little bit of bling. These are the champagne rhinestones and basic jewels. And I am going to just add a little bit, oh, let's put this right up here. We're gonna add a little bit of bling to this. You get three different sizes with these. I love these, and of course they are peach colored. <gasps> Look how pretty that is, just a little bit of bling. Now what are we gonna do with the inside? We've got this layer. This was our three and three quarters by four and three quarter inch layer. We're gonna do a little bit of stamping on there. I got this tiny little Your A, and this I'm gonna stamp in Pear Pizzazz ink. And then Sweet as a Peach in Calypso Coral. And then I wanted to use this pretty ribbon. And I'm gonna use this as an embellishment on the inside of my card, which is really pretty different, right? We usually don't put ribbon on the inside, but I thought this would look really pretty. This is part of the um, kit that goes with my online class. This ribbon is, and it, it looks so pretty with this suite of products. Isn't that nice? Okay, we are going to add this to the inside of our card. It's gonna go right down here. Just like that. And then I'm gonna take my 
two and a half by six inch piece of designer paper. And we're gonna add our glue to the envelope flap and make a coordinating envelope that is just going to look so pretty. Somebody opens their mailbox and sees this beautiful envelope, they're gonna have a hard time waiting to get inside the envelope, right? To see what kind of pretty card you've sent them. I love decorating the envelopes. Make sure that when you order this designer series paper called You're a Peach, that you get two of them because you won't feel guilty about putting designer paper on there. Look at how cute that is, right? Here we go. This is a gift card and this is a little pocket for the gift card. So you can send this as a thank you. You can make it a birthday. There's a birthday sentiment in here. You can do whatever you want with it. But how sweet is that, that it's got that little pocket in there. You can put cash in here. Yeah, pretty, pretty neat, huh? Now, I told you I have the checkered background here with the dots and checks. And here is the same card with the polka dots. And I think those are just as sweet. The polka dots on the paper go with the polka dots here, but they look just as nice with the checks on there too. Okay, I said I'd talk to you a little bit about this online class. So option number one, you get everything here. You get the um, Sweet as a Peach bundle. You get the designer series paper, champagne jewels, linen thread, woven ribbon and the dots and checks embossing folders as well as nine card ideas, video tutorials for each one and pre-cut card stock is included when you order option number one. Option number two, if you already have some of this stuff, option number two is going to include the rhinestone jewels, the woven ribbon and the baker's twine. Now, that's for anybody who already has the bundle and has the um, You're a Peach designer series paper. You're also going to get all the pre-cut card stock for nine cards, video tutorial, written instructions, and photographs. That's super fun. $45 for option number two. Both of those options are only available for people in the United States. Now, if you're outside the United States or you already have all these things and you want to cut your own card stock, you can order the PDF file for $20. You're going to find all that information on my blog. You can click right up here to head over there. Also, don't forget to click down here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't want to miss anything I have coming out. This is part of a blog hop, don't forget. Everybody's making fun folds today. So when you click up here, that's gonna take you to my blog. You're gonna look for these projects and then there's gonna be a list that you can click on and hop from blog to blog to blog and see other fun folds that people have made for this blog hop. This is a great little gift card holder. I hope you will make a whole bunch of these. And don't forget, when you're ordering, and I always appreciate your orders, here's my current host code. Get extra You're a Peach designer series paper. This paper is so pretty and it's just perfect. We've got floral, we've got peaches, we've got some blues. Beautiful paper for all kinds of summer cards. Thank you guys so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.